Oh, okay. So we're going to that shop up there. So we'll keep cruising. Okay, and then this one, I always find that I just make like a, a choke point there. We'll plan to do something like this, and then we'll kind of come in here. So let's see. So we could use this space for doing the, the back and forth with the ball lightnings. It almost feels like one ball lightning is sufficient. Hmm. So here's... so. I think, and this may be incorrect, but I think that maybe six ball lightning towers with the end ones being all range runes, the middle one having one range rune, and the front ones having none could be the way to go. That, that requires a lot of space. I should probably avoid us getting ourselves killed with a... Uh... With this this uh, this grand plan, as it were. All right, that'll be enough to get us through the first one. Yeah, Juicy. Nice. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Love it. Okay, so I'm going to... I think I'm going to do it up here. I think this is going to be the path. So if I do... If I do a double range room, how far does this go? Oh, my. Okay. That's, that's a lot of action. Home of the Endless is used up, so my thoughts on the PS5 uh, Pro. I haven't looked at the stats of it. I like the, I've seen the nostalgia version, and I think that I, I dig that they went for that old aesthetic. I'm a, I'm a fan of that. Ah, uh, wait, so, so you're going to have, hold on, you're going to have two towers in front of you. So we're going to do greater range lightning. Like that. I think six might be too many. Hey, thank you for the sub, Juicy. Thank you, thank you. I think I need to get rid of this so that I can block this off. Now, obviously, we haven't done very good work. I, I think I'm going to do this. Unfortunate. <laughs> Unfortunate. All right. We'll leave that like that. And I'll, I'll do three over on this side, I think, is the plan. Oh no, I've made a mistake. This is this is ruining my fun. 
A curious. Oh my gosh, it's been forever. It's good to see you. Oh, this this is awful. Um I love that you can do that, by the way. That was uh I don't remember when I learned that, but that was a huge one. All right. Well, we're going to do the best that we can here, which is going to be This is this is far from ideal. I want to I want to acknowledge, but uh, life, life's been hectic over here too. Uh, so I'm going back to work, which is the big piece of news next week. Uh, gotta, gotta earn a little bit of, uh, a little bit of cheddar, but, uh, but other than that, life is good. I think all ball lightning could be a really, really interesting run. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do automatically fires, automatically fires. All right, we'll start with that. And then over here, we're going to start building our maze out. Boo work indeed. Yeah, boo work indeed. But uh, we uh, we moved, and uh, and life is life is only getting more expensive. I guess is is the way that you would uh, you would describe that one. Do any of these reach behind this? They don't. Okay. It's weird. You'd you'd think life would just get cheaper, you know, but for some reason. Things just get more and more pricey. And this looks pretty good. The... The decimation of these ball lightning towers is kind of comical. Um, I'll grab those two and then... So the next thing we the next thing we need to do for this uh, for this plan is we need to start working on. I don't really want range runes on a, a clutch lasso here to uh, to slow stuff down in the middle. I think is the plan. Hey, thank you for the cheer, Roland. Thank you so much. Is there any chance the devs are going to introduce flying enemies? I don't think so. Uh, curious. So this is it's uh it is a tower defense game, but it's a tower defense game where you build your maze with Tetris pieces, which is uh surprisingly satisfying, uh, is is what I will say. All right, we are one gold short of that, so we will wait on that one, and then I guess we can do this. We'll figure that out. I'm kind of hoping that this just kind of like all works out. Yeah, the, the maze building aspect of this game is just like deeply satisfying. Okay, it is hilarious. So, oh wait, hold on. We just learned a new thing here. Uh, it's going to take a moment to for me to demonstrate it again, it looks like. But we just learned something actually crazy. These ball lightnings appear to hit the tile one above them. That's that's new tech. Interesting. That's new tech indeed. So let's see. So we could do this and this. Oh, 
Oh, Hype Train has started. Oh, Curious, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Cheers. Hype indeed. Hype indeed. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Appreciate the, uh, appreciate the support, as always. We get enough of those subs, and I'll, uh, I'll happily quit my job that I'm about to get. <laughs> but, uh, but for now, no, I just appreciate it. Helps out a great deal. Let's see. We'll do... We'll do one of those. I think this one is hitting that, so it should be okay. And then... I'm tempted to just start building a Thunder Tower thingy. Where would I put it? Maybe over here? Sure. Let's start start doing this. I want to get a protection tile there, but we'll just we'll just go ahead. So it'll probably be a short-lived hype train, but I'll uh, I'll do a few gifted subs at the end of it just to say thank you to everyone. Uh It does seem like these ball lightning towers do a boatload of damage. But the, the burrowers are always the problem. What can we say? I'm going to do my cheap draws. If they keep sending sandworms, I could see us being in trouble. Oh, curious, you have a new account? I I was unaware. Alright, this should be a pretty Yeah, that's pretty nice. I'm going to do increased critical chance because I think it, it helps out here. And then I'll do... I'm going to do crit chance on these as well. Oh, very very cool. Wait, maybe I knew that. So wait, so so you've went through a few iterations. Because uh, when, when you first started hanging out on the channel, uh, you, were, you were sleeping Scythe, right? Am I remembering that correctly? Okay, so so account number three has entered the chat. <laughs> hey, I I I try to I try to make a point to remember a couple things about uh, folks who support me. It it, uh, it means the world to me certainly. But so now you have a you have a third one that you've been streaming on. I'll have to I'll have to keep an eye out. Hey, decision is uh, decision is overrated. That's that's all I will say on that on that front. I will say, like, I'm, I was a, I was a bit of a skeptic in, uh, skeptic when it comes to how good I thought these ball lightning towers were going to be, but I think, like, we're almost at the point where I'm starting to have an idea of, like, what ideal ball lightning looks like, which is very interesting. Like, we, we got to figure out the exact measurements, right? We want the two front ones to be just short of overlapping. Then we want the two back ones to have one range boost and the back ones to have two range boosts. All right, I'll just do that. That's fine. That probably wasn't the right place to put that, but that's okay. Okay, so that gets that buys us a little more time, and then I don't think I'm I'm actually kind of curious. Does this? Ooh, this isn't gonna this isn't gonna do much good. I don't think it's it's gonna be a little awkward, but. If it latches onto the farthest one, yeah, I don't think that works the way I want it to, but I'm I'm gonna actually I don't think I'm gonna do that. Let's do one of these instead. We'll have a ridiculous missile tower that can just reach the entire map 
and it'll it'll do stuff. And then I guess we have a super good Obviously it's the final wave, so that's not gonna do me that much good, but we should have set this up. If we're gonna do ball lightnings, we should set this up because it kills so many things. I really like them too, Curious. They are very, uh, they feel very smooth to me. Okay, the, the money situation actually with the ball lightning towers is kind of bananas. I'm, I'm starting to realize when you can pretty much guarantee that everyone is going to, uh, everyone's going to die inside your, uh, <laughs> your statue. That's pretty clutch. All right, you can do that. Hit him with the overlap, the overload that is. I, I will say like these guys. Basically, 100% crit rate with the buff from the Thunder Tower is very interesting. We need more range. Yeah, that was a lot. So, technically, we're going to try and set that up for next time. Drone Tower is technically... Technically a Lightning Tower. We'll grab it. Let's, let's see how it performs. Uh, we'll take Lightning Conductor... Yeah, we, we were absolutely cruising up there. That was surprising. It's at least a cheap one. Flying enemies would be evil. Uh, it's one of the things I really didn't like about Hex Guardian, actually. If I were to kind of like talk about something I was not a huge fan of. But okay, let's, let's try and be even more deliberate this time about uh, making our ball lightning alley of doom slightly more... Uh, more interesting okay so this is i think this is really good it's relatively easy to get everyone to come in this way so i think we'll do that so so i need six tiles here one two three four five six that doesn't work because we we need them to come around the corner here uh so maybe we where's Maybe we just do the straightaway over here. We can we can close this off pretty easily and get things going there. All right, so let's map it out over here. So a ball lightning tower, by default, has how many tiles? Hold on, I'm gonna hold my hand up to the screen to count them. One, two. I, I guess I don't need to count them, right? It's it's here. Range of ten by default. Okay. So we want we want ten tiles here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we want the enemies to come in like this. So they're going to come in, and we're going to do 10 tiles like this, but then we can't get them in. So that doesn't work. Okay. So we're going to have them come in here. And then we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then they're going to turn and go in like this. Okay. So the plan is... To have lightning boost runes and also probably like explosion runes on the front there and over here like a speed rune is good and then we're gonna do single range boosts on those two we do also need to kind of like get ourselves defended but this is desert scorpions we're talking about here this is not exactly gonna be i want that up there That's just, that's just to cover us. Straight line zapping until we can zap no more in Lustrous. It is indeed the plan. Speaking of which, a straight line piece would have been awesome. Okay, so we got, we got our range runes there. We might be able to... Yeah, nobody's coming in this way, so we can do that. And then I'm going to put this here, this here, 
this here. All right, so now we need to... We do need to close off some stuff. There we go. All right, so then... For the third setback, we do need double range runes. Where, how are things leaking in right now? All right, that's not going to happen. Speed rune does not... Okay, so let's see. So we're going to do... Somehow I miscounted? All right, curious. It was awesome having you swing by. Appreciate ya. I, I apparently did miscount. Do we want to try and fix that? Probably not. And I want to get a, a gold rune here, or I could put it here actually, maybe. Can I? Is that a is that a spot? I'm not. I'm not mad at what's going on here. So if I do if I do this I can't see how far that goes. So to be on the safe side, I'm going to do that and then doesn't really matter what I put here, but we're going to do that. Oh, wait. Uh, that was actually... Hold on. That's right. I was going to see if... This is a weird thing, but does that... That does not become a tile. We could probably... Well, how much range? Yeah, actually, we, we probably want the range. So we'll do... We'll do that. This is just... Hopefully, this is going to catapult us into... Uh, into being just absolutely cuckoo bananas rich. That's the plan. Are we really not going to get kills on any of these guys? All right, we will. Okay. I think we did well there. We did not do kind of like exceptionally well, but... Okay. So the next step is to do automatic firing there. And then... I do also think that what's the what's the lasso range look like here? We want like one more range upgrade and a speed upgrade for yeah, that's a perfect lasso placement there. Looks good to me. Okay. Next upgrade is going to be the automatic fire here. Maybe we don't need an automatic fire here. I don't know. I don't know if we want to bookend it with two automatic fires or not. That's a that's a tough call. Because if they fire at the same time, 
then it doesn't it doesn't benefit us, right? I'll do that. Let's just see if that that seemed like that radically improved things. Unfortunately, we aren't getting that much money because the sandworms are are dodging us. This is this is first world problems obviously, but I hear more olive barking. Let's uh Why? Oh, that's interesting. So it doesn't increase detection range. Okay. I may need to go check on Olive, but we'll see. Okay, I definitely need to go check on Olive. Pray for me, all right? Be right back. It was not, indeed, who we thought it was going to be. Or what who I thought it was going to be. I'm feeling pretty rich, though. This seems like it went well in my absence. Yeah, I think the two on the back are working really well. So now we're going to do... Cooldown reduction on these four. Which I think is going to go hard. And then... Let's see. So I'm tempted to just kind of like start plopping down runes over here. That was that was a bad rune placement. We should have known better than that. So we can do that. What are, what are we doing up here? Not 100% sure. Not 100% sure. Drone tower did 206 damage. Nice job, droney. My droney crony. Uh, no, the lasso is uh, the lasso is on uh, is on the stun one, which keeps it as electric. How do how do speed ups on those work? I wonder. So I think saving range runes for the for the golden sh shield might be uh, smart. I love that these these guys, the magma elementals, are literally dying before they can explode, which is amazing. Could you put a lightning ball tower on the on the two map wall tiles that stick outside? Oh, to test if the ball is more than one wide. Sure, let's try that out. That's a that's a great call. Yeah, I like that idea. So we're gonna put this here, and this here, and we'll do that. And presumably that's gonna hit, which is 
a weird thought. And then just, could, we should probably test directionality while we're testing stuff. Uh, so, so the disadvantage here, the disadvantage of doing this is we're going to get a bunch of incidental kills that aren't going to work with our, uh, with our tower. Oh yeah, it has to be on automatic. Okay. For science, we will do that. We'll sell it next time. Good call. Good call, Kiss. I guess this lightning tower is also ruining our fun a bit. They were definitely hit by that ball lightning. Yeah, the ball lightning hits the next tile over. So... Wait a second. Okay, so we can sell this because now we've now we've tested it, but like Does doesn't that mean that like we can put ball lightning towers along here and get extra value out of stuff? Like extra lightning balls. I wonder if they if they trigger if they're one tile off. Cause that that would change the whole game, right? Like Like, do these automatically trigger here? Because because these are going to be hitting this this spot here. So we don't know if they work on both sides. We've checked that they work above. We should check that they work below. That's a really good point. So let's make sure that it works below here. That could be two. This is an und... Now, these aren't getting triggered. Did you notice that? Okay, that's definitely working. But these aren't getting triggered. So the balls don't trigger the next one over. So I think the, the biggest problem that we have right now, which, other than the fact that we are just, like, disgustingly OP right now, is that I think we have too many things doing additional damage that are not our lightning towers. But yeah, these don't, these don't shoot. So that would mean... That we would need to do this, and now we're going to get more more lightning balls. And we could also do it up here, too, right? Yeah, they, they do not see, so right, so, but we can do, like... Oops, that was... That was a misclick. But we can do, like automatic, that, that. Because they are going to be hitting, right? So this whole bank should just be going. And this alley should become just absolutely nightmare fuel for the enemy. So now we, now we, oh my gosh, that is a lot. Yes, Kiss. The, the issue there, though, and, and maybe it's worth doing, but, like, the reason that I haven't done that to date is because it feels like since there's a one-second cooldown on their ability to trigger other things, right? Uh, when an electric ball hits another tower, the, the tower hit immediately fires on a one-second cooldown. I think because, because of that, the... 
it's better to like back end with the automatics. <laughs> the, the, the large hadron collider is officially going. Indeed it is. Let's see, what do I got here? All right. What are you worth? You're worth 155 gold at this point. I want to get one of these upgraded with this at the very beginning of a level. I would have taken hammer. Flash freeze is the only one that does anything for us there. That was a that was a bummer of a grab there. All right, let's get let's get everything we've ever wanted, which is none of this. I'll take cheap protection tile. Come on, I like I like Ember Guardian. Hammer Tower is technically an electric tower. Look at how much money we have. Focus Prism is great. Debug Encyclopedia is great. Weak spot, oh, weak spot radar would have been so good. All right, well. Okay, well, this is going to be an interesting one. Uh, I suspect we'll do just fine here. I'm thinking. So. I I think we put like a... I think we set up this three wide over here. Like this. To be our, our kill zone. So let's see. So we got... So if we started here and we went... Let's start here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're gonna have we're gonna have that go in there. We'll put we'll do double lightning there, I think. I, I prefer I think I prefer explosions for a little more a little more crowd control. Cause we can put that there. That can be the front. And then Are these really range ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Why? It's only showing this as having range nine. It must be counting ten from the back? Hmm. Interesting.
Yeah, we could do that, um, Detective Engineer. We certainly could. Just start poking him down. Hey, Michael. Hope you have a great work day. I also wanted to get... I wanted to get a golden statue here sooner. Did this not have range on him? Oh, boo. That's disappointing. <laughs> okay, largely we're just we're just waiting. Here, I think. Well, I mean, actually, hold on. So we can do. We can do something like that, and we can start getting our our ancillary stuff firing off we won't we won't be able to build them right now but no need to take damage that we don't need to take And that's just because I want to see how much we get out of that. That's not, not anything more special than that. But I, I just want to see how high we can get this. Okay, so now, now we need to get to work with, with this. That should be on automatic fire. Ah, uh, now one one way in which I made a, a minor mistake here is that we won't be able to put range runes here, so we're gonna get a little less value out of our uh, out of our, our tunnel of, of doom than I think I was hoping we would. Also, this is now in the wrong place. Damn. That's also a foolish foolish something or other. We wanted it here. How far does this thing reach? All right, we'll get there eventually, and then we should have we should have done something to get some damage in on this guy again. Uh, we did a scrap tower run before, uh, but we 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 moved away from scrap towers, Michael, because it was uh, it was going it was going just fine, but we uh, that is a very hard challenge we are learning. So we'll we'll get back to scrap towers. We had we had some bad luck. That's at least the way that I would I would describe it. I'm not as rich as I would like to be.
And I'm, I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to get a hammer in the mix here. Ooh, that, that range room could be better. All right, we'll do that. We're clearly not... We're not doing anything that is going to be like... This is not maximum efficiency. I just, I guess I should just put it that way. Yeah, it's definitely not pleasant. So, okay, so I want to get... I didn't want to build the hammer. Oh. I didn't want to build the hammer until I could immediately upgrade it, it to lightning damage. So now, now we're just starting to be mean because I think we're we're in extremely good, an extremely good position. So we'll just start chunking this guy down. There we go. Okay, so we got both these upgraded appropriately. Yeah, you're gonna break about there, which is great. We start working on a second ball lightning alley. These can get sold. I don't know. I kind of like this one. If if this one doesn't work out for any reason, by the time we find out about it, we're going to be in like a lot of trouble. Um, <laughs> but. We also just didn't our ball lightning is not yet at the at the place that I imagined wanting it to get it to. It's still completely insane, but Yeah, the the stuns plus the hammer strikes plus the plus the ball lightning hits. Meanwhile, this guy's at half. All right. Maybe maybe we cool it on killing this guy so that we can see the lightning towers come to come to be what we imagine they can be. Sure. I don't think we're in any jeopardy. Oh, I just realized... Oh, this is kind of crazy. Hold on. I'm going to put one of these here. Put this on highest HP. And if we dark grip, no one's ever going to be able to leave until the dark grip is out. Which is kind of hilarious. Uh, Alright. I'm just going to put stuff places. Oh, automatically fires was the wrong one. Let's sell that. This one should definitely be on. Blue upgrade. Blue upgrade. Blue upgrade. Why is this one red? Seems odd. This one shouldn't have been that either. Now I'm just upgrading things incorrectly. This should be red, blue, blue, but we're out. And then 
DPS meter is up, uh, fast as. Sorry that, sorry that was a little delayed. Well, like, I can do this. I'm gonna start yanking folks back if we so desire. Can't, I can't complain about what we got going on here. These, <laughs> we we didn't still didn't quite do this right, but uh, I think that I think that this is strong. So we, if we wanted to, we could also refactor. This, because I guess technically what we want is we want a 6 by 3 on both ends that things walk into and then walk down and then walk back out of. Like, technically we would want another line of these. But. Red upgrades for these two. I'm going to sell this because this absolutely shouldn't be a red upgrade. It should be a blue upgrade. I'm gonna fix some of the some of the mistakes that were made. All right, that this looks at least correct. Is it perfect? Not really, but I think the electric boost tiles should increase the chance of multiple hits for the hammer. Ah, oh, that's a cool idea, scoundrel. I like that concept. That's, uh, that's very cool. All right, we'll do, we'll do the same thing that we did last time. This is starting to look pretty fearsome. Ah, there was one of the one of those triple hits. This is worth three hundred gold at this point. So it certainly paid for its upgrade cost. Um, So my thinking was, hold on, what is what do three range three greater range upgrades look like? That's eh, not bad. All right, we'll do that. We're we're starting to eat into the the supremacy of our of our lightning tower, but yeah, what can you do, right? If we wanted this guy to die ASAP we would put a 3x3 three three here and just... The, the fight would be over before we knew it, um, for better or worse. Just going to have him zigzag a bit. The dark, the dark grip, just to get things kind of like lined up, is kind of humorous. So dark grip has, dark grip hat does have a maximum grab range. That's good to know. I, I don't think I knew exactly that before. I, I would love a sandbox mode because like I I feel like there is a perfect there's a perfect setup with like hammers and ball lightnings and lasso towers that would be pretty humorous. All right, 
right, this is final wave, so... Grab one of those. Oh, wait, this is kind of cheeky. Hold on. Can I... Highest HP. All right, well, it's going to grab onto him and not let him go anywhere. That'll be fun. All right, we should be good. This should be very easy. And remind me to check the... Check the end. But yeah, he's he's already grabbed. <laughs> oh, there it goes. He is not dead yet. Let's see. Let's make you least progressed and do that. Can't pull the boss, apparently. Does appear that way. Well, it looks like the boss may die to our, uh, may die to our little, uh, lightning ball. Which, uh, which that feels very appropriate. Or maybe it'll all be stunned and he won't die to it. All right. He has been defeated. We could have defeated him significantly earlier, but... Uh, but that is your mono electricity run. A little bit of fire from explosions, a little bit of arcane from voodoo doll. This is this is worth noting. Voodoo doll is the only source of arcane damage that we had, except like I tossed like an or arcane storm. Eighty thousand. That means that over the course of our run, give or take, twenty percent of our damage was from voodoo doll. That's pretty that's pretty insane when you think about it. Uh very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, I want to try I want to try one more run and then we're going to switch over to uh to to try out Meme Mayhem. But let's uh let's head back out. This probably will be a throwaway run. But I want to...